welcome to so what you like i am your girl marie nails hi guys all right i am back today with a pattern haul i noticed i hadn't did one in a while so i am here with a pattern haul and also some fabric all right so if that's something you're interested in seeing please keep watching okay i'm back first things first thank you so much for my returning subscribers i am so 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 grateful for your support and hi to my new subscribers i am so glad that you decided to join me on my creative journey all right so i don't want to keep you guys too long because i do have quite a few patterns and i will not be going in any order i'm just going to pick them up and go actually i'm lying I will kind of, I have know me and this is McCall's. So, well, McCall's and, you know, know me falls under McCall's. So that is what I'll be showing you today. I was able to score some patterns that I've been wanting at the recent McCall's um, pattern sale at Joanne. So I am excited to show you what I picked up and also some fabric that I have acquired since the last time. I showed you guys any fabric, all right? So let's get right into it. So I'm going to start with the Nomi patterns. And so the first one that I um, was able to pick up and find, meanwhile, I had to do some driving, y'all. But I got what I wanted, so I guess it's okay. Is this one here, okay? Okay. And that is Know Me 2003. And I'm really interested in sewing this view. All right. So I might have to wait till the fall for that just because of the sleeves. Or maybe I might turn that sleeve into a short sleeve and add a band. But anyway, this is the Elisa Threads Know Me pattern. And I think it is really cute. And this is for stretch knits only so it's a mrs knit and cardigan and skirt pattern and here are the line drawings all right moving right along now y'all i love this lady here i just love her style i think it's impeccable and she's just bomb can she be style and you guys know i made her first pattern uh, the bomber dress. So I picked up this one here, Know Me 2020. And I kind of like both views, but however, I'll probably sew view B first. Only because it's, you know, getting warm outside. And hey, I, I want to make it soon. So here are the line drawings. And I like this pattern because... It's a cute spin on the shirt dress and has a little flair to it. And you can do some color blocking as you see, you know, that she's done. You can do it on this view as well. And so this is a Mrs. and Woman's Wrap Dress with Belt. And this is a woven pattern. So your chambray, cotton blends, gingham, linen blends, poplin, shirting, light, well, they say lightweight stretch wovens. Okay, twill and cotton sateen, satin and denim. My, my, my. Well, look at there. All right, so that is Nomi 2020. And I am also excited to be sewing this gal here. She's so dope. I've met her before, and her spirit is just awesome. And, um, I wasn't able to do the first one due to the sizing, but I think I can pull this one off. So I'm excited to sell it. And it's Erotica B. Cole. Yes. Love her. All right. And so this is the Know Me. Uh, let me see y'all because that's the rack number. Sorry. I normally write it down. It's Know Me 2015. All right. And I'm interested in doing this skirt. So, C skirt and the A bustier, okay? So, 
this uh this a um this a here this bustier here with the ties because the girls you know they need some extra support and then this skirt here all right and so here are the line drawings okay can you see them all right and this is a woman's lined bustier with c d and double d cup options i didn't know that oh and skirt so that is great y'all because you know when your breasts are on the larger size cup options are a oh they're a bonus when you have them just makes things a lot easier okay now fabrics cotton blends crepe lightweight denim linen blends this is teen and stretch wovens hmm now that's for a b and c and then for A and B, which is the Boussier, you can also do Brocade, Dupani, Shantung. I have some. Oh, yeah. Got some black and white Shantung. Mm. With a red skirt. Oh, I see it, y'all. Uh, gingham, jacquards, silky types, velvet. And you do need some interfacing. woo Excited. All right. And this chick here is dope as well. And I had to get this pattern. Actually, I have both of them. So I'll probably show both of them, but I can't remember if I showed y'all one before. I don't know, but we'll go with both of them. So this is the corny rainbow, y'all. Oh, she's so dope. I've had a chance um, to meet her before at Melanated. Uh, here in Atlanta and oh she's so I mean they're all sweet all the souls I've met um, from the sewing community I've met Erica um, Bunker uh, Bunker okay and they're just all sweet Mimi G is sweet Faith is sweet Brittany J Jones uh, you know I've had a chance to meet uh, meet them all and they're they're just such awesome ladies all right so this is know me 2022 and guys I, I, you know what? I'm going, I don't know which one I want to sew, but I'll probably will start off by sewing this because you guys know I'm about, you know, versatility. So I will probably sew the short one. I do like the long one, but I'll probably will sew the short one first. I love how she has to pair it with the sneakers. And if you guys have been around long enough, you know that I like that as well. And the top. I'm not sure about the top at the moment. Um, <laughs> don't know how I feel about, you know, I don't know how I feel at the moment. But I'm definitely going to do the skirt. And, you know, who knows? I might pair the skirt with the Boussier from Erica. I mean, Erica. Ironica's pattern, you know. So we'll see. But I just think that it's super dope and I love the way it looks. All right. And this is. Um, a Mrs. Top and Skirt, Suggested Fabrics, Batiks, Cotton Lawn, Cotton Blends, Crepe, Double Georgette, Lightweight Linen Blends, Poplin, Silky Types. And it does have a lining. It's not a full lining, but the lining polyester cotton blends. You're going to need some interfacing, separating zipper, and hook and eye. Okay, and bias tape. So, yes, guys. Oh, here's the line drawings. All right. All right. And so, I also have her, the Nomi 2006 um, by the Corny Rainbow. And I like both views, but this is the view that I will sew um, first when I do sew it. All right. And this is a Mrs. Dress Fabrics Cotton Blend Stretch Wovens Crepe Velvet Double Knit. Nice. Very nice. All right. And you just need buttons and single fold. No, wide single fold bias tape. All right. And here are the line drawings. Can y'all see them? Okay. And so, yeah. Very excited to make that one as well. Now, that is all for the Nomi pattern so we're going to move on to these other few patterns that i'm going to go through them quickly 
um, because some of these are not newer patterns. Some of them are older. Um, well, most of them are newer in this pack. So anyway, I picked up McCall's 8201, and I will probably sew view C. I think that is going to go cute with like some shorts or she has it with jeans. So I am very interested in sewing that. Here, oops, here are the line drawings. All right. And this is a Mrs. Top fabric, gauze, crepes, polished cotton, Georgette, and it's lined. All right. I like that. So lining fabrics. And they have voile as a suggestion. Um, and so, yeah. Excited about that. I picked up this pattern. I've been wanting it for years, but was never able to find it. Finally found it. It's a bomber jacket pattern. Um, and it's a woven pattern. So, suggested fabrics are cotton blends, ripstop, denim, wool blends, and also pre-quilted for view A, which is this one here. And lining fabric, because it is lined. So here are the line drawings. Can you see them? All right. And I here's the reason why I, why I had been wanting this pattern, but I also got the pattern because I wanted to see how they do the tabs here. Um, since those tabs from that Nomi pattern tried to take me out, I was very curious. So I am going to sew this probably for the fall. But yes. Glad I was able to finally find it. And these are newer, um, newer patterns from McCall, okay? And so this one here is 8360. All right, so like a sweetheart jumpsuit. Who doesn't love that? I'm actually frightened of this pattern, to be honest. <laughs> because I'm like, girls, please hold up in this. So hopefully the girls, you know, they cooperate and it's got to be awesome guys so yes i thought this is so oops, look at that I'm trying to show you the line drawings all right i just thought that this was super cute i love the flare and i love the fit of it and so suggested fabric so it's a mrs jumpsuit suggested fabrics are denim twill poplin cotton blends and it looks like it is lined a bit probably just the bodice I'm going to guess just the bodice is probably lined, so lining fabric. So you do need a zipper, and because it has a belt, you know, a buckle, and I just so happened to pick one up when I was at Fine Fabrics last time. Look at God preparing me for the upcoming souls. Yes. All right. Love it. And some grommets, and it does have some shearing on the back, so that's going to be a first for me, and I'm I'm scared but I'll get through it. I'll get through it. But yes, guys, I can see me doing this, not maybe in a denim, but maybe in a printed twill. What y'all think? Well, that's 8360. All right. And this next one, uh, I was like, I've got to have this pattern. And I love her hair on here. This is McCall's 8364. Ooh, isn't that cute, guys? Jeans, shorts, a skirt. I can see these being worn with, like, skirts, too. Like a denim skirt. Mm. Yes, guys. And here are the line. Oops. Here's the line drawing. Whoop. Okay, get it together, girl. Get it together. Here are the line drawings. And so this is a Mrs. Knit Corset Top. Stretch knits only, so you're cotton knit, rib knit, lightweight, ponty, and athletic knits. And the only notion it has, guys, is elastic. Oh, boy. This one's going to be interesting if you have a big chest. Because I am looking at the finished garment measurements. And it looks like the 46 for the bus is the biggest. So this shall be interesting, especially with no boning. Well, all right there, guys. Still super cute. We'll see. 
All right, guys, and here is, I thought this is cute and sporty, and I love pretty much all the views, 83.66. Isn't that such a cute jacket? You got your crop. You have this view here, and it has, I don't, you can't really see it in here, but this little thing here that gives you some shaping. I don't know what that's called. Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, and this view is cute, too. But I really like these two views. I really like A and B. And here are the line drawings. And this is a woman's knit corset style jacket. And it's for stretchness only, such as athletic knits, ponte cotton knits, and lightweight scuba. Ooh, lightweight scuba. Nice. All right, a little bit about the notion, some twill tape. You'll need a separating zipper, of course. And that's really it for the notions. So this guy should be very interesting. I think it's super cute. And I definitely can see myself making these two. All right. So that is that. This other one is super cute as well, and I can't wait to make it up. I actually want I actually want this to be one of my sooner makes. This one here, McCall's 8369. All right. And oh, I just love everything about this. I love the bell bottom, the bell bottom look. I'm sure I'm gonna have to shorten that. But the view I'm the views I'm interested in are the views that is it the views that she's wearing? Yep, the views that the model is wearing. So D, the pants here, and then B this top here. Here are the line drawings. And this is a woman's knit top and pants, suggested fabrics are stretch knits, such as athletic knits, cotton knits, rib knit. Right, and you only need elastic for this, okay? Very nice, guys. Excited to make this up. Oh, it's gonna be so cute. And last pattern that I have is McCall's 8371. And let me tell you, I love this jacket, okay? I actually have three of these patterns because my husband said that he likes it too. So, and then my son mentioned, oh, my, I will wear that when I showed it to him. So, I ended up getting him a pattern. Okay, and I just think this is super cute. This is so me. I could see for myself doing some color blocking, like with the pockets and, and things. Yes, I love this jacket. Definitely will be sewing this up for the fall. And, yeah, so this is a men's jacket in two limbs. Here are the line drawings. And as far as views that I'm interested in sewing, I don't know. I'm going between the one the model was wearing, D and C. And so a little bit about the fabrics, twill, denim, and linen. Ooh. Linen. Mmm. And twill. Very nice. All right. Notions, you'll need a... Either a 22, depending on the view you're going to sew, a 22-inch or a 30-inch separating zipper, some heavy-duty snaps. Y'all know I know how to do snaps, yeah. I'm, I'm excited. And a buckle. Okay. I'm ready for this come fall. All right. Okay, guys. So that concludes the pattern portion. I know that was quite a bit of patterns. Fabric's going to go really, really fast. So hey let's get into it all right guys so for the fabrics i'm going to start off with this here quilted fabric i got diamond quilted fabric i i got this from my local fabric store and i'm not sure what kind of material it is this is the back side. I think this is like a drapery fabric. But I loved it because of the quilting and it was very inexpensive. It was $3 a yard. Okay. So that is the first one. 
All right, and these two are going to be more on the, I guess, more winter fabrics. Um, I have some other ones that I have, but I'm like, I'm not pulling those out. So I just pulled out the ones that I, that I had access to. So here is this one here. This is a sweater knit. And I just love that print. How cute is that? And it's fuchsia and black. And it's a medium weight. So come winter, I will be excited to sew that. These next ones are lightweight fabrics. More so for the, um, you know, for like the spring and perhaps the summer. So I got this here. Okay. And this is a, it's a, I don't know fabric. <laughs> Wait a minute. It's, <laughs> don't get me the even line, y'all. Um, I don't know. It feels like it might have some nylon and something in it. So I was thinking, I don't know, maybe a jacket. So here's my idea with this. A jacket or Mimi G's um, simplicity pattern where she has on the uh, kind of windbreaker style um, pullover and the um, jogger pants. Thought about that for the top and then some black jogger pants. I think that'd be cute. And who doesn't love a good leopard print, okay? That is, those colors are cute. Now, these next three, no, I'm lying. These next four are going to be on the home decor side. So, you know what? I'm going to wait for those because... I want to tell you something about one of them. Okay, so we're going to move on to the... Uh, I have two rayon prints here that I got. Um, and I believe these are from Fabric, Fabric Mart. This one here. Isn't that cute, guys? I really can see this in a nice flowy... Don't even get me the line saying dress. I definitely can see it in a flowy dress. But... I am thinking of the Tallulah, I believe it's called, pattern by, is it Made for Mermaids? They have this two-piece romper that I like, and I could really see myself sewing up the romper in this material here with the little tie front. Oh, guys, let me tell y'all something. I was so sad and so disappointed in myself for not posting over the summer because I was on a romper jumpsuit craze and i'm gonna do a video you know about the different romper um and jumpsuit patterns i use to give people you know to give us so is inspiration for the summer if you're into rompers and jumpsuits maybe this it will not disappoint okay and this one here how cute is that guys this is so so cute i love it I love it. It's showing up more orange on the camera, but it's it's red, like the base of it's red. And this is a rayon chali, okay? And the other animal print was just 100% rayon. All right. And this next fabric, I believe it's from... Um, I can't even, you know what? I'll have to put it on the screen or in the description. It's Ankara, okay? And <laughs> I'm excited for all of them. Here is the first one. I know it's yummy. This pink and black. I oh, love it. Red and black. Now, the red and black one, I love it, but I'm almost feeling like maybe I should have got the white and black one instead of the red and black. But, anywho, it's cute and I love it. And y'all get ready for this one. <gasps> Color! 
I love me some color, guys. How cute is that? Ooh, yummy. All right, and I did get a black and white one. However, seeing it, it's a, I mean, it's an okay print, but I think I like the other black and white one better. So I get this black and white one. And this one is one of my favorites. I love it. I love it better in person than I did seeing it online. Oh, how cute is that? You can pair that with some denim. Y'all. I, I think I know what I want to use this on. If I have enough. But if not, I can always pair with denim. Let me show y'all. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me that it's not going to be cute. Can you see me wearing it? Can you see yourself wearing it? View here. Yes, guys. I, I pray for this moment, y'all. I pray for the Lord to give me a vision to be able to put things together and just it's just falling into place. It, it just really is. And I am forever grateful. All right, guys. Check that out. How cool is that with the circles? I thought that is cute. And I'm not one to be a big um, purple fan. But I think this is more kind of magenta and there's some light pink in there. But I thought it was really cute. All right, guys. So that is... It's for the Ankara now to the linen upholstery fabric. All right. Now, you've probably seen one of these prints before. <laughs> I love this. I don't, I just, I'm in love with this print. They have it in all different colorways. I love this because you can pair it with denim. And in my previous, one of my previous videos where I did the two-piece with the Vogue jacket and the, um, my favorite jogger pattern, <laughs> that simplicity one, that colorway was kind of like a black, it was like a black and maybe it had like a little gray cream or something in it. But so they had this colorway here. And I'm like, oh, that'll be nice. I'm thinking the McCall top um, that I showed you guys, the pattern where it had the short sleeves and it was lined, kind of looked a little puffy. I'm thinking a top in this. And I don't know what short pattern I would use yet. I have to go through my, uh, my, my uh, bottom patterns. But I'm thinking the top in this. Or even the bottom in this. And then maybe like a denim top or vice versa. Can y'all see it? Can you see it? I can see it. And then this is another colorway. Um, They have some other ones, but I wasn't interested. They have like a gray one. And they have a few other ones, but they, they just weren't tickling my fancy. Okay. they Yeah, I was like, no. It's a no for me. And then this one here, guys. Look at that. Oh, I love the color in it. You see it has like the little blue there. And it has a, some red in here. Let's see if I can show it. And you can see it like right here. It's coming up orange on the screen. But this is red and then that's the orange here. But told y'all don't sleep on the home decor section in Joann's at $5.00. A yard? Like, really? Okay, guys. And these last two. This camo. I had some of this in my stash. But it wasn't. I realized I didn't get enough like a year or two ago when I got it. And I visited a Joanne that I don't frequent often. And they had it. And I was like, ah! And it was $5. So... This gray camo here, 
And I have an idea, but you'll have to stay tuned for that. And then this one here. Now, I'm ending with this one last because it brings me in, or brings me in, it brings me to the pattern um, in my previous Friday Souls video. I was going between two patterns. I was going between McCall's um, 7997. Let's see. I was going between McCall's 7997 and this very easy Vogue 9375. And so, guys, I decided on the Vogue pattern, View A, this jacket for View A. And you'll have to stay tuned, but this here, some good stuff. I think you'll like the jacket. And I might do a little surprise on the back. So, guys, that concludes my pattern in fabric haul. I know this video is a little long, but um, it was a lot I wanted to get through. And I don't do these often. So, I don't know. I don't know. Because it's so long, I don't know if you'll see it all together or I'll break it up. You know, so... Stay tuned. But guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Please be sure to give me a thumbs up. And if it's your second time here, please consider subscribing. And please hit that notification bell so you're notified when I drop a new video. All right, guys. And share me. All right. So you guys stay blessed. And I will see you in the next video which will be my Friday Souls video, and you're not going to want to miss it. I'm going to go over that Vogue pattern and also the skirt that I showed you guys in my previous Friday Souls video, the top that I made. Mm. You're going to love it. Stay tuned. Bye!